This is the first in a series of videos based loosely on the book that I wrote, The Little Book of Adventure Game Programming. Now, the main difference between this series and that book is that in the book, most of the programs, not all, but most of them are written in the C-sharp language, whereas in this series, I'm going to show how to write a text adventure game in Java. Now, I already have another video that shows a quick example of how to write a Java game with a simple user interface with buttons and text fields and so on. But in this series, I'm going to take the hardcore retro approach and do everything just as we used to do it back in the 1980s from the command line. And that means the first thing that I need to do is to be able to get user input and pass it out into meaningful words, uh, take sword, drop lantern, and so on. In the C-sharp game that I developed in my book, I started off by creating a form-based game, one similar to this, where you could have uh, text entry fields and you could click buttons to try and take or look at or drop a specified object. And right at the end of the book, I then changed that into a command line, which is a more traditional sort of adventure game, so I could enter text commands such as take the leaflet, and that's the way that uh, adventure games would have run in the old days, in, in the uh, traditional adventure games. And then you'd say leaflet taken and drop leaflet and so on. Well, in this Java um, series that I'm now uh, starting on YouTube, I'm going to be going the other way around. I'm going to start with the command line uh, version of the game in the absolute traditional manner. I'm going to start by translating my main loop. This is in C-sharp here. I'm going to translate that into Java. Now, C-sharp and Java are in many ways very similar languages, but there are one or two things I have to be careful about. My C-sharp project, shown here on the left, uh, differs in some important ways from my rewriting of some of the code, which is shown in Java on the right. Now, all I'm doing here is a simple test to parse out user input. I'm not really getting into the game writing yet. Now, I want the main loop here to run until the user enters Q to quit. In C sharp, I can do this test with exclamation mark equals, but that doesn't work in Java. In Java, equals equals and exclamation mark equals, they test absolute string equality, which means that to be equal, two strings or two string variables must refer to the exact same string stored in a single memory location. So in Java, this test will fail. To test that characters in a string are the same, uh, that is, that the characters A, B, C, D, etc., rather than the actual memory location in which they are stored, to test that those are the same, I need to use the equals method, and that's what I've done here. Now let's turn to the run command method. So that's in C sharp here, and it's just here in Java. Now, another thing that nearly caught me out is that both C sharp and Java have a string dot split method that splits a string into individual words. However, the C sharp version lets you define a simple array of characters to split on. So that's here the array called delims, whereas in the Java split method, you have to put a regular expression. That's an expression defining a set of rules about which characters are to be stripped out. Regular expressions can get quite complicated, and if, like me, you rarely write them, it's very easy to make a mistake. Luckily, Java has a special tokenizer class that works in much the same way as the C-sharp string dot split. Well, that's what I've decided to use. I've given it its own method. You can see up here, um, so that it returns a list of words split on the defined characters. That's the delims characters up here. Now, I'm not going to go into all this code in great detail. If you know some Java already, you shouldn't find anything too difficult here. And finally, I pass the word list to the pass command method. So in C sharp, if I go up to here, to the pass command method here, here's the pass command method. In my C sharp application, pass command is the starting point for analyzing a command according to its grammar. A command such as take sword 
would be a verb plus a noun. Put sword into suck would be a verb, a noun, a preposition, another noun, and so on. My Java code isn't ready to deal with that level of analysis yet. So I just do a very simple proof of concept test to make sure it can recognize a command, that is a verb, and an object, that is a noun. Where commands are any words in uh, this list here, and nouns or objects are any uh, word in this list here. Okay, so let's try it out. So I'm just going to run it here in NetBeans so you can see it displays the prompt down in this output window here. And so I'm going to enter some commands. Take, which is a verb, sword, which is a noun or object, and it parses it out into two words, take and sword. But what about those uh, other characters that I wanted to split on, things like uh, full stops? So let's put in a few full stops. Take, um, I'll take the ring this time. And what other characters do I want to get rid of? Um, let's see, exclamation marks. Various bits of punctuation and white space and so on. Wait a minute, let me adjust that, see if it deals with that correctly. Still, it parses it out into tokens, take and ring. So that's the behavior I want. So far, so good. Now, to understand the principles and techniques of adventure game programming in more detail, I recommend that you get a copy of my book, and if you want to download this Java source code, and as the series progresses, you'll be able to download more Java source code for free, go to bitwisebooks.com. Get free source code, hints and tips from bitwisebooks.com, or sign up for a course at bitwisecourses.com.